Hi, I'm Kevin with Genesis Rescue Systems, and we're here with our friends from Chicago's Bravest Stories podcast to present a 12-part video training series on real-world practical applications for passenger vehicle extrication. Engine 1, engine 4, truck 2, truck 10, ambulance 82, battalion 2, fire 1020 North Main, help is on the way. Oh, hey, Corey. Hey. Can oh, you just man. step on sign of refusal of services, please? <laughs> Thanks, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> In our next video, we're gonna cover cross ramming, and that is the art of taking your telescopic ram to the interior of the vehicle when we have major side impact and intrusion. We can take that ram and push the car back to the position that it started in, which is going to be much more beneficial for working in very close proximity to the patient that's trapped. After a long night at the studio, Corey was traveling at North and Harlem and got smoked at about 70 miles an hour coming through that intersection. Now there's about 20 inches of intrusion on his B-post that is pushing him to the midline of his seat. He's legitimately trapped in this car. We go through all the prep work stages to go to get this car ready for the extrication, but ultimately we need to get that car back to its original shape before we start to use our cutters. If I start attacking this cutter in such close proximity to Corey, what's gonna end up happening is that metal will travel inside the car even further. He's already making contact with that B-post, so we need to push that away in order to start our process safely. This process of cross-ramming is gonna involve the Genesis 2254 telescopic ram along with our 28-inch spreader. We don't know the distance really between the two B-posts, so just to play it safe, we're gonna clamp a four x four to the roof rail of the vehicle to give us 18 additional inches of, of push from the base of the ram. Okay, now that we're in the interior of the vehicle, sometimes it's advantageous to take the front windshield out so we have a little bit more room to work. We just have to watch out for any type of uh, cut issues to the top. We have our 18 inch 4x4 squeezed down to the roof rail using our 28 inch spreader. Now our ideal situation, we're gonna lay Corey down as much as we possibly can. We'll take our peel and peak tool, come to the back of the weather stripping and pull that all down. Once the weather stripping is off, it, has us, it gives us the ability to pull back a lot of plastic which are good, good ram pushing points. We're gonna put the base of the ram at the end of the 4x4 and we're gonna drive it into the B post to the point where we see any type of uh, V deflection. On that deflection or any type of hardened components, we can use that as a pushing point to get this post out of Corey's way. Now for the sake of demonstration, we're not gonna use hard protection in between him and the ram operation, just so you can visualize the operation that's taking place. As you can see, the cross ramming has given us enough space where we have about 14 inches to work in between Corey's body and the interior B post. Additionally, it caused the window frames to flare out as though there was real damage because there was. This gives us the opportunity to take the spreader, start working at ourselves high, spreading the window frame down, positioning the tool vertically so we could start working our way down to the nader pin. After the nader pin is detached, we can work ourselves with the hinges, cut our B-post, work on that front door, and we're gonna be in good shape. This episode of Back to Basics Training Tips has been brought to you by Genesis Rescue Systems and Chicago's Bravest Storage Podcast. Thank you for your support. We'll see you soon.